Got original 1963 Cadillac DeVille AM and FM radio. Uh, they look just like the Wonder Bar. They still have the bar, but this is for switching from AM to FM. Uh, we've gone through it. Uh, had to replace some parts in the tuner. And we've done a full Aurora design conversion on it. It now has AM and FM stereo, which it does. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got pre-outs on the back of it if you want to add an amp to your rear speakers or even put a sub in. Auxiliary in, which is automatic. Uh, this is your uh, USB port. has your aux in right here. You get a mail-to-mail core for it. This is USB. comes with a thumb drive with this video on it. It's music. This will also charge your phone, your devices. Push button operated, which I'll demonstrate all that for you. Uh, Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls. You got a built-in mic here. You get an extra mic. In case it's a convertible, I don't know, it might be. This radio will also scan your stations for you. Even though it's not a wonder bar. And it has voice ID in case you're looking for a Pacific station. And we're going to demonstrate this little deal auxiliary in with these new phones. I've got a new phone and it don't have a headphone out. But if you get one of these, you'll have an aux out and a charging port. You can find them on eBay or at your phone store. Alright, right now you're on FM. We have all your push buttons where they work. Set up. That was the part that needed to be worked on because the springs in it were corroded. Won't go to AM radio, just switch it over. Switches to AM. Back to FM. Now we have this light here on FM set up so it's a stereo light. Cease to be. It'll go out. When you hit a stereo channel, it'll light up. I want to let you know that in case you think there's something wrong with that. And the reason why we've done that, that way when you go to USB or Bluetooth, these two lights go out. And it'll go out, and then come back to FM, it'll light up. Built-in fader. There's your rear. There's your fronts. Toner. Treble and bass like you've always had. You also have balance built in your toner. We'll demonstrate that for you. Uh, first thing we're going to do is put this thing in the scanning mode. Now there's two ways to do it. You can turn this up twice, your needle. Sometimes on these that are belt driven, a little bit slower, so we got the push button, we can do it with it. Let's put it in the scanning mode. We're going to take this push button and push it four times. One, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. Now it's going to start scanning for stations without the needle moving. I'm going to show you how to lock on a station to even find it if you want to preset it. And then we're going to show you how to identify it. I took a few liberties with, uh, obviously, I mean, my brother plays the heavy uh, in the... 17, then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet saying, in Rhema was there of See, so you like that station there, all you gotta do is push this three times. One, two, three. Station hold. Now, if you go do that, and you wanna find it, it'll go quiet till you come up on that station. There we are. You wanna know where you're at? One time on the button. FM 91.1. Or you can do it here with the volume knob. One, two, three. FM 91.1. You want to put it in scanning mode, you can do it here. This is, I believe the belt's tight enough on this. One, two. Scanning for stations. We are benefactors. It's the American way. We are not beneficial. The Mosley at station hold. Lock on that station 26, for you. So save the date for yes. that. And you... All right, that's how you're scanning for stations. In case you're going down the road, you can put it scanning and let it find you a station. We repolished all the chrome. Took a little while to get that kind of mess that was on it all. Now, I told you that you have a fader, so if you hook up enough speakers, you'll have a fader in there. It'll know it. It automatically knows how many you're running. There we go. And you have balance built in your toner controls. In case you got a right and left, 
We'll go into balance, push this twice and hold it. One, two, hold. Balance adjust. There's the left side. There's the right side. As long as you're moving this, it'll stay in that mold till you get what you want. Just stop, she'll set it for you. Balance set. There we go. Now we're back on treble and bass. Your auxiliary in, like I said, these little cables here you can get. So these new phones, I don't know why they eliminated the headphones out, but now you, so they can sell you this, I reckon. It's the record you know how it is. From the record. Give it back Plug this in here, and we're going to go to auxiliary in, which is automatic. So that means you can plug anything into it. It's got a head, like MP3, satellite radio, XM radio, CD changers, whatever you want to put in it. Just bring up your device. Also, and uh, we're going to go to music and hit play. Finally Friday, not happening. There we go. That's how your auxiliary in works. That's why I wired these lights like ours. See, they're out. Anytime you're on an auxiliary in device and you want to go back to radio, just turn that device off. And if you don't touch your radio, you don't even have to unplug it. In 20 seconds, it will go back to where you had it. We're going to let it do that. But if you wanted to shorten that 20 seconds, just turn it off and back on. It remembers where you're at. Because it is AM FM. It just cancels that 20 seconds down. See, it automatically switch back. Enjoy, share, repeat. There we go. Some good music. All right, now we're going to uh, run our Bluetooth in. We're going to do the initial pair up. We're going to let her help us, and you'll do the same thing to your phone. It'll take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So there's two ways to do it. You can turn the volume up twice with the radio on and go to pairing, or you can hold this down. We're going to go to Bluetooth. Hold that down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone, all we gotta do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Alright, now we're connected up. We wanna turn the thing off. We're gonna do another little test. Make sure it finds the phone. When we turn it back on, because you shouldn't have to pair it but once unless you get a new phone, you'll have to put it back pairing mode or something's wrong with yours. I had mine do that one time. It just lost everything. All right. Bluetooth connected. There we are. All right, now we're going to do a voice command. Now, this push button does a whole lot of stuff, but it will do it here, too. I can hold this down, bring my phone up, and take, call home, uh, look up a restaurant, play music, whatever. You can also do it here. Turn this up twice. Play music. Going to music on my phone. All right, let's go over so we can watch it. Now we can advance here one time, advance our songs. Twice to back up or repeat, depends on how long you're into the song. See? Twice again, back up. I can also do it here. Turn it up. Turn it back. Do it with a push button as long as that needle moves. Now we've done this to bring the phone up. If a phone call comes in, it'll override whatever radio's doing. She'll come on and say, incoming call. All you do is press this once, turn your tune and dial up one click, answer your call and talk. When you're done, you can let the phone hang up and go back doing whatever you're doing, or if you want to end the call twice here, or back down on your needle. Let's do a voice command using this. Hold it down. Stop music. One moment. I love my phone. Technology is unreal, ain't it? All right, put it in pause right back to radio, FM. That's how your Bluetooth and all work. And you notice we're lit up. You can hide this in a cigarette lighter underneath the lip of the dash, anywhere you want to, as long as you can get to it, because it does a lot of stuff now. 
Now we're gonna do our USB. You'll get one of these video on it and music. When you plug it in, a lot of people hide these because you can control it all from here. Go straight to it. Advance, same thing like your phone. Advance one time. Advance, back up. Twice to repeat. Now since if you might hide this where you don't want to see it, there's two ways to go to pause. You can hold this down one second, put it in pause, go right back to radio, or cycle back around. You can also do it with your volume knob. We went up for Bluetooth, we're going to go down for USB. Let's go back to this, one second, right back on it. Let's go back to pause, one, two, pause, right back to radio. That's your original 1963. Cadillac, AM FM radio with a full roar design in it. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you. You're listening to the Brad Hansen. Thank you.